the all-new Volkswagen Tiguan, one of the highlights here at the Frankfurt Motor Show, the IAA, definitely. And this time on Auto Gefühl, your number one resource for in-depth car reviews and your number one community to discuss cars with Thomas. I think the new Tiguan is really beautiful and who says that Volkswagen builds boring cars? I think the Tiguan definitely ends this one. This one here, the kind of standard equipment here. We also show you the R-Line, for example, and also the GTE version is also right behind me in blue. So we'll tell you all about the exterior and the interior of these cars and rate them. And actually what we see here right now in the front, I think the most interesting detail is that in these horizontal fins, we got those little gaps in here and that creates a very strong off-road look from distance already. I think a very beautiful feature they picked here and also a lot of accentuations here on the hood. I think the designers could really play a little bit here. So we got a lot of details we find here. Also in the side profile you will also see they use a lot of sharp lines. That's the new look of the Tiguan and before that it was round and this round shape everywhere and looked kind of clumsy already. So a lot of people say, okay, uh, great quality, good from the interior, but the exterior, come on, what's the Tiguan? Well, here is the new one. What do you think now? That's a new side profile here and those very hard, sharp shaped lines I was talking about. One in the height of the door handles and then light and shadow. Another one here you see how the designers could play out there. And well, the car has become longer. So one of the criticisms of the sofa Tiguan was, ah, okay, well, is there really enough space in the trunk when I go with my family on holiday? Well, this is solved now. I can show you quite soon, but already from the outside, you see that this is a more evolved car, stronger car, and also just bigger, of course. Well, you're not that flexible, again, when using some parking boxes also, because before the Tiguan was rather a small SUV. Now it's kind of this standard compact SUV size. But also from the side profile, I think defining now this very sharp line they could do now. Also the Passat has something of that. And uh, what we can see from the rear, that is also very interesting. First of all, we got kind of 3D shaped tail lights. Also a lot of structures we see here. So it's not that really that very calm design we use from Volkswagen anymore. And then from the rear part, I think it rather looks like a Golf. And of course they always share a lot of similarities. However, when we open the trunk now, we see what has really changed. And this one is the major changes here. It is way longer than before, definitely. And then you can also flip the seats from the rear here and make an even space. See the right ones because the hand red head restraint is dropped now, but there you can see how far it goes in. So the Tiguan is more flexible now as it just is offering more space. And that will, for example, well, maybe in Germany, a lot of people do pick the estates to have those trunk, but maybe now also more the Tiguan. By the way, the Tiguan, the best sold SUV in Germany, not in Europe overall, that's the Qashqai, not in the worldwide, that's the Honda CRV. But maybe this is tending to change now with this new setup the Tiguan has. Let's take a look inside together, and this will be very exciting. See, this is kind of a higher trim level here already in a bright interior. And in this case, we see, well, this we know this steering wheel, that's not really new. And everything else of the interior, well, they are no really like this very crucial new stuff. However, the seats are new, you can see them right now, and I will also take a seat there to, to test them. They look quite fancy, actually. However, we'll soon all see better seats in the R version, I can tell you. And you get an 
upright seating position, as you would expect from an SUV. And, well, is this a Touareg or is it a Tiguan? So you really mix those cars up now, because before you could really distinguish it. And I would say, okay, you do get more comfort when you pick the bigger Touareg. Now it's really more spacious here and also more modern. We can optionally pick the digital instruments, but of course you can still pick the normal analog ones that will be surely possible, the same as for the Volkswagen Passat. But I must really say, it's not that really that very small SUV anymore. It's more like a little bit smaller Touareg because you already got this kind of spacious feeling in the front and a, I think even more upright seating position. What will be kind of new is this new off-road mode and that again leads it more towards the Touareg. You can pick the different other modes for snow, road or mountain terrain here. This is also the 4Motion, the all-wheel drive model. It will also be available as an entry version with, four, with just with front-wheel drive. But this one here is definitely new. And the rest of the console, we know that actually from Volkswagen we also got the most modern GPS system here now. The, it's not kind of powered right now, but this one is um, the biggest one that is available right now from the uh, from the MQ, MQB basis. And so you're also up to date as for the infotainment system. You see all of the interior is again quite of conservative and clean, but that's also what Volkswagen customers really like to have these clean atmospheres, not too much playing around with the interior. And of course, we got a general high build quality. If you compare our previous Tiguan full review you'll see the difference now in the leg room and um, this is actually plenty of we got here and I think it's like this one more also this table here will change a little bit but again that is not really the highlight of this car I must admit so in general we also got the upright seating position in the back let's see this is here a strip to flip the seat but can it also adjust the seat yeah it's actually also possible and that's really a good function so in this case, you can really adjust the back of the seat, how steep you want to have it. And if you put it all the way down, this is the same function to flip the seat in here from the interior. And about the headspace, we got the panoramic roof in here. So you got this kind of headspace with a height of 1 meters 86, so that's quite okay. So even when you're traveling with tall persons, you can easily go for the optional panoramic roof then. In the exterior impressions, we've shown you a lot of versions, a lot of different colors. Now let's get into the diesel of the R line. Of course, we got the stronger bumper here and the theme is all in black and even stronger. A lot of big air intakes here, also different setup with the lights in the lower part. This is really huge, sets the sail on the sportiness and I think it's a nice way to pop up your everyday driving car to a rather sporty one. So this one here, definitely now a dream compact SUV as for the airline. Also in the side profile, we got some other changes, for example, the airline logo here. It's not in real air in our old deck, that's just fake. We got this chrome lip in the middle lower part here, of course different alloys which have this two color scheme and um, then we carry on towards the rear part of the car. This one by the way is a two liter diesel also with all wheel drive. This chrome lip here is following the car all the way around and then the lower part is stronger. We got some polished exhaust, two pipes and a little bit stronger area in the black here as well. So the R one here for the Tiguan is not really this kind of accelerated racing stuff. It's really like decent sporty stuff. I would call it that way. Now let's check the interior and this is really my favorite part and I would pick the R one rather for the interior in this case because here you don't have the real animal skin seat. You have a good seat with four leather on the outside and fabric on the inside and you have the other steering wheel and I would really go for this steering wheel because it's the R steering wheel always reminds me of the Golf R with a flattened end also the greater design this one by the way is special for the new Tiguan here and the other one looks I think a little bit old-fashioned so I especially appreciate the steering wheel here and also the seats they offer a good side support here also in the lower part here and got this microfiber on the inside which is very comfortable when sitting on and um, actually again here I must say when sitting the second time in the car sorry to wreck you actually also a very good SUV but maybe if I just want to save some money and don't need the space of a tour wreck the Tiguan will be the Tiguan will be enough actually and also design wise 
maybe the Tiguan is even more beautiful than the Touareg now. So I think the new Tiguan here, I mean, it's not a revolution from the inside, but it doesn't have to be. But that's also maybe the case, just they did the refinement that the Tiguan really needed utterly after the long life cycle now. And I think this really worked. And so this one, I think, along with the Honda HRV, will probably be the two cars that will be the best sellers of this IAA Frankfurt Motor Show.